rest in peace. Each night, I really wanted to take a moment and take the time to share with you and care about the fact that before you go to sleep, before you lay your head upon the pillow, before you've gone to bed and forgotten the day and the cares thereof, each and every one of us, God has said that we should rejoice in the day that we've been given, for this is the day that God has made for us to rejoice and be glad in that. But there was also something that once God has done for us, that which he has done in us, and that which he has done with us, he has also determined upon his own people, the children of Israel, that because they were not thankful, neither were they glad, he chastised them, he challenged them, he judged them, he caused them to not inherit all that they could have had, had they but done one thing, give thanks. So tonight I'd like to remind you to give thanks. Before you go to sleep, if you do pray some traditional prayer, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep, if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. I ask you maybe that even though you have spent the day today possibly in a church or in some way worshiping God or celebrating, that you take a moment to reflect on all that God has done for you. We're told to do that at different times of the year, and there are different seasons that we do inspire ourselves to do those things. But when you get alone at night, when you look out on starlight, when you begin to realize how soon Jesus is coming, it's almost like you want to make it right in some way. Whatever's gone wrong in your day, whatever might have gone right, Maybe we could just take time to pray and say, God, thank you for today. Whatever it has been, it's done. Thank you and forgive me for what was not done and restore me for what is done and confirm to me your spirit that I might rest in accomplishing that which you have purposed for me this day. Because none of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. None of us are holy. We are all being made that way until one day we shall go to heaven and go home to be with Jesus. But there's a little book that, you know, has daily light, that has portions of scripture in it that I want to share with you each night so you would rest in peace. But that by the word of God or in the word of God, by the spirit of God, to the people of God, of the son of God, I would like to share with you words of encouragement so that tonight, you can rest in peace. Who knows the power of your anger? From the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. That he might be just and the justifier on him which believes in Jesus. My prayer for you is tonight you would rest in peace. Go and be restored while you sleep. That this evening... This day that the Lord has made, even as we start in Jewish culture from the night to the day, may it be that either way you find yourself in the peace of God that passes all understanding, in the will of God that he would choose to use you as you will understand him, so much so that you find that he loves you in a greater way than you've ever known before. And the joy of the Lord of waking in the morning 
For surely sorrow, though it may endure for but an evening, joy cometh in the morning. So my prayer for you is that one thing you would do, each and every night that you're alive, every day that you can, when you go to bed, remember to pray, thank you. Can we try that right now? Can we just do something maybe a little different that you might not feel too weird about, might not feel too awesome about? You can do it like a dance. You can go, or you can go, or you can go, or you could do this and just say thank you. So are you ready? Thank you. Rest in peace.